so in this video I'm going to show you Matthew chapter 27 verse 35 and I'm going to show you the King James Bible and then I'm going to show you how the other verses take out so here we go and they crucified him and parted his garments casting lots that it might be fulfilled which was spoken by the prophet they parted my garments among them and upon my vesture did they cast lots so there you have it and what is being taken out is the cross reference now they have what's called bible prophecy um, probably a lot of you already know about bible prophecy but in case you don't there's the old testament and a new testament and a lot of the old testament is about prophecy meaning that god told ahead of time through the prophets and the scriptures the word of god what's going to happen now there's still some prophecies that still have to happen but this is a reference um you see to um example psalm 22 18 they part my garments among them and cast lots upon my vesture so that was a prophecy of where jesus when he was about to be crucified that they took his garments and the vesture you know i'd have to kind of look up probably the definition um to give you maybe the proper definition but you know they took the clothing and to cast lots i'd have to probably give you it would just be best if i looked up the definition but um there was that prophecy about um the soldiers you know i think it was the soldiers casting lots for jesus clothing and that was found like we saw in psalm 22 18. now these newer versions again these came out after the king james bible and we could just go to um, some of these here, like, but for this video, I'm just going to do probably the English Standard Version. And they have, and when they crucified, when they had crucified him, they divided his garments among them by casting lots. Did you see something missing there? Well, you should have. Um, let me show you what was missing. Can you see, like, you could, if you can't see on the screen, look how many words this one has i mean we could count them up um but it's missing quite a bit of words here and what's missing is that this part that it might be fulfilled which was spoken by the prophet and again they parted my garments among them and upon my vesture did they cast lots so this bible verse is telling you okay this is bible prophecy being fulfilled it's spoken by the prophet it's saying that it's spoken by the prophet and it's in the word of god look it up you know that'd be a clue like oh wait let me see okay where is this in the is this in the bible oh yeah it is we saw it's in psalm twenty-two sixteen. i mean twenty two eighteen. sorry um which is probably the cross reference and i'm saying because they give you one more twenty two sixteen. so there's sometimes more than one cross reference but in this case, Psalm 22, 18, for what it's talking about. Now, again, in the English Standard Version, you don't even have that. You don't even have that reference. So if you're reading the English Standard Version, you might not even realize that it's prophecy being fulfilled. And when you read the Bible, there's still a lot of prophecy, like I said, that has to be fulfilled yet. And sometimes I could be reading uh, the Bible verse and not even realize it's talking about prophecy sometimes. So in this case, it does help because you're reading this and then you see it that, okay, this is spoken by the prophet. And um, so then if you get thinking there, you think, okay, this must be somewhere in the Old Testament, maybe in the prophets or some prophet was talking about it. In this case, it looks like it's Psalm twenty-two, eighteen. 18. But then if you read some of these newer versions, like the English Standard Version, it's just gone it's they still have you know what happened to jesus but the second part that's saying okay this is was written by you know by prophet this was prophecy this is what happened and prophecy is fulfilled here and it's really big because it's concerning the messiah and all the word of god is big 
But here it's talking about what happened to Jesus. It was telling us ahead of time. And then that person sees that and thinks, oh, I wonder what other, you know, verses were fulfilled. And they start to, you know, read the Old Testament, the prophets and Psalms and try to figure out the prophecy relating to Jesus and future prophecies. But when you take out that, um, you know, reference, I mean, some people might say clue or hint, but it's really just kind of like, hey, look at look at this. This was, this was prophecy fulfilled. You know, this was written um, hundreds of not, uh, you know, I don't know, thousands of years. I got to think over a thousand years ago, like when the book of Psalms was written, I'd have to see, you know, when this was Psalm twenty two eighteen. like I said, sometimes, you know, my strong points aren't low. I'm not, you know, I sometimes struggle with, you know, names of the Bible, remembering who's who and locations and then timelines. But it was written, you know, I, I want to say, you know, hundreds of years ago. And um, if not, you know, over a thousand, I don't know when Psalm 22, 18, I, I'd have to look, but you could say, you know, hundreds of years before that for sure. And for them just to take it out. Now, why did they do that? And if, if you're new to the channel, I do have the Bible series playlist where you can see I'm covering this. And I, I put the election Bible teaching video in there because I kind of feel like um, I think I must have talked something about this. Maybe I'm not sure. Um, but some of it, some of it's, uh, you know, maybe I mentioned something about the topic. Um, but, you know, you can check out this playlist. Um some a good one to see like a review would be warning the new bibles remove words they change words too new versions exposed so that'd be a good one to review it's kind of like a summary of some of these and these other ones are just giving examples um just like this one's kind of giving examples so i don't want to make the video too long here for everyone but this would be another video and i plan on to do more videos regarding this issue and it's a big deal again remember god's word is important to him and it's too, um, by hearing the word of God too. It talks about um, having faith by hearing the word of God and also being born again by the word of God as far as, you know, hearing it and receiving it. So it's a big deal. So um, I just want to make this video and you can check out the other ones. And um, so I hope you guys see it. And um, if not, I'll be making more videos. And again, you can check out the other videos that I said to check out that one. And um, just because there's a lot of people that, maybe never realized this um you know maybe they had a english standard version and never even realized this and it's like the first time they're hearing about this they don't know about some of this stuff so now that it's brought to your attention the bible says study to show yourself approved you know study to show yourself approved a workman um that needed not to be ashamed and i'm just um kind of paraphrasing that i can look up that but um the point is yes study and so this is uh, this would be something that you should be studying, um, Timothy two Second Timothy two fifteen, study to show shew thyself approved unto God a workman that needeth not to be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth. So there you go, and um, hope you like this video. And um, if you have any questions, maybe you could uh, ask in the comment section. I might see it. So all right, thank you.